Okay, welcome to a new video series. This is on systems programming. And the plan for this video series is, well, I found this uh, old retired course website for systems programming. You can see the web address up here. Um, no clue if it was ever intended to be viewed by strangers, but I found it. So I'm gonna use it and um, and uh, basically the plan for this video series is that I'm going to basically do a walkthrough of kind of me taking this class of, you know, it's old and I don't have access to the lectures or any things like that. But I will read the textbook, talk through my thoughts on the textbook. That's almost, I guess, kind of like a lecture or something like that. Uh, or, a, or a, you know, companion to the textbook. You could think of it that way. Um, but so uh, I'll basically just be following the course schedule. It's sort of nicely laid out with, uh, you know, so like in the next video, I think I'll basically do, uh, you know, a video of me talking through reading chapter one. A uh, nice thing also about this is that the textbook is this free open source uh, textbook. So I don't think there's any issue with me basically just bringing up uh, the textbook and, um, uh, let's see, let's go to, uh, I didn't quite want this one because I don't want it the single page version. Um, but yeah, so right free online version, uh, collection of documents, and then you get this sort of nicely laid out, nice uh, textbook on systems programming. And so, you know, in the next video, I'll be uh, talking through my reading of that. And then I will, in the video after that, uh, you know, do assignment zero, uh, or at least as much of it as makes sense uh, for me to do. So, you know, uh, basically in this assignment, it's simply asking you to uh, download the code, which by the way, uh, the the code for the assignments, uh, right? The code stubs or starters are all hosted in this GitHub repo linked from the website. So that's very nice. And so I've cloned the repo and I will, uh, you know, I've already implemented uh, the code here, but I'll make another video in a minute talking through it. But in any case, right, you know, basically you just uh, uh, pull up, the, you know, clone the repo and start editing according to the uh, instructions. And um, and so, uh, right, and, you know, basically what this just wants you to do is run a Hello World program just to make sure that you've got your C programming environment set up. Uh, and uh, and then it wants you to do a, a basically a very small, uh, you know, file that you've made on your own, uh, just to make sure that you know it's it's basically just a step up from a from a you know a hello world or if it's even that. But in any case, so that's the plan for the next video. And so you know that's also basically the plan for how these videos are going to go. So I'll do a video on reading the chapter, a video on doing the assignment, a video on you know basically each thing that is laid out to be done in this course and. Uh, so let's just take a quick look at everything that is going to be covered. There's C programming, C programming, uh, binary representation of data, sure, computer architecture assembly, uh, memory management, malloc, um, operating systems. You know, a lot of the stuff that is fairly common in the broad uh, category of systems. Uh, threads, okay. Um, and uh, optimization in the end. Um, so uh, yeah, that's the plan.